Updating our Docker container or any software that we are currently running on our device is important for several reasons, including security, deploying patches to bug issues, fixing software vulnerability, as well as compatibility and performance improvements, to name a few. This is something that I've had first-hand experience lately, specifically on one of my containers that I use every day. That is Jellyfin. So I installed Jellyfin back in December of 2022, and it has been great. I've had no complaints until a couple of weeks ago, it started performing sluggishly, and I was getting a lot of skips and freezes, and it was just annoying. I checked on my network and everything seemed fine, so I thought I should update the software on my NAS. Some of you might be familiar that I originally have Jellyfin installed on my true NAS scale server, and that I use mostly repurposed old PCs, some almost 10 years old. Well, the motherboard where I installed true NAS just gave up and didn't want to boot. And since I have another server running Open Media Vault, I thought I should just move it there. And since installing, I regularly update or install updates on Open Media Vault. So as expected, everything on Open Media Vault is updated and working fine. The containers, on the other hand, is another story. For Jellyfin, the current version I had was 10.8.8. .8. And the latest stable version available is 10.8.12. So I was a few releases behind. To fix this, I just went on Portainer, clicked on Jellyfin, clicked on Stop Container, and then clicked Recreate. This pulled the latest image available. Once Jellyfin is back up and running, we can see the version has been updated to the latest version, 10.8.12. Updating your containers this way is okay to do every now and then, but there is a better way a more automatic way of doing this by installing Watchtower. Watchtower monitors and checks the images of your containers to make sure they are the latest image available. To me, doing it this way is more convenient and worry-free. Watchtower is a container-based solution for automating Docker container-based image updates. Once installed, Watchtower will pull down the new image for your containers, shut down your existing container, and then restart using the new image retaining the same options and settings that were originally used. To install Watchtower, we'll start by going to Portainer. To install Portainer, please refer to my other videos regarding this topic. Although for 2023, there are slight variations in the way that we can install Portainer on Open Media Vault. Sadly, we cannot cover this topic on this video as it will make the video too long. I will reserve that topic for another video. I like to use Docker Compose and Sax on Portainer to install containers. And conveniently, the Watchtower website has a YAML file available for us to begin with. I will be using this and I will just add the environment variables I want to run. Click on Stacks, then add Stacks, give it a name. In our case, it's going to be Watchtower. Copy and paste the script under the YAML file into Stacks on the web editor. Now onto the environment variables. Environment variables are optional. Watchtower will be using default values if the environment variables are not provided, which should be totally fine. There are different options available to choose when running Watchtower, including running multiple instances of Watchtower and even setting up Watchtower to monitor remote hosts. Select the best option or argument for your use case and just follow the directions on the website. In my case, I will be adding environment variables pertaining to cleanup, enable label, include and revive stop argument, as well as poll interval, which controls how often Watchtower will check for new images. This is expressed in seconds, like 86,400 equals 24 hours. Add the arguments you want to include under the web editor then deploy the stack. Once the Watchtower container has deployed, we can go back to stacks, check the logs by clicking the icon that looks like a document under Quick Action to see if there are any issues. Since we used a 24-hour poll interval, the first check will not be performed until that time. To find out if Watchtower really works, we can come back in 24 hours or we can update the poll interval. 
To do this, let's go back to Editor and change the poll interval value to 60. This will tell Watchtower to perform the first check in one minute. Make sure to change this value back to the original value. We wouldn't want Watchtower to perform checks every minute or 1,440 times a day. Or maybe you want to. It's up to you. Once you're done editing, click Update the stack and then Update. We don't need to re-pull the image right now. Then we'll go back to logs after one minute. Now we see that Watchtower has started performing checks on the containers. And since I included the argument enable label, it is only checking the containers which has the label on them. And I don't have any containers with that label. So I'll go back and remove the argument enable label and redeploy. One minute after redeploying a third time, we can see that Watchtower is doing its job, performing the checks on each container. Now we can sleep better at night knowing that we are running secure containers with the latest image. I hope you liked this video and I hope it helps you somehow. Thank you for watching.